Hi there, Cancer. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your July 1st through the 15th love reading, July 2017, 1st through, through the 15th. My apologies. This is a love reading. Thank you to all the subscribers, watchers, commenters, and um, bookings. I really appreciate that. You guys have been keeping me very busy. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your rising sign or your moon sign or both of them. This is for Cancer. For July 1st through July 15th, what do you have for love for the sign of Cancer? Love advice. Big shake up on the horizon as we hear the fireworks. Oh, yes, you are going to have some fireworks. You might even be considering leaving somebody behind or leaving something behind that is affecting your happiness. All right. Um, it could be a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. All right. The universe sees what's going on. They're going to help you. They're going to help you take whatever measures are that need to be taken. And, it, and I think that it involves leaving something behind. Okay. Um, that's what it appears to look like. You're, it's, you're, you just want to escape from the situation probably with a fire sign. You definitely, this is the first week of July. It looks like there's a breakup the first week of July. I mean, that's what it looks like. I can't, I can't pretend. That's what it looks like. There's a breakup. This is the first of the 15th. This is the first week. There's a split. Perhaps it was just lust. You know, it was a lusty relationship. Or maybe somebody has more than one partner and you became aware of it. Um, somebody acted impulsively, perhaps. And, you know, there's it's there could be a, or there was a love triangle. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it looks like to me. But I think it's the end of an emotional time for you. You know, it's the end of a relationship which caused a lot of turmoil. And so here we have the end of it. Things start to look up. What about the second week? So the beginning of July, the very first couple of days, something is going to happen. It's it's a gift from the universe. It's a it's a shock, but it's really a blessing, and it it um, gives you some piece of information probably about this fire sign. Probably you already knew it, but it, maybe it reiterated it, and it forces you to leave the situation. With both of these cards, I mean, it is it's, it's a pretty a pretty big guarantee that you're going to leave something behind. Um, it's probably a fire sign. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Perhaps the whole relationship was just like sexually driven. Perhaps you're going to... This universal um, shock concerns might concern two people. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Steady, um, practical, responsible. This is an Aquarius. It's also about your wishes being fulfilled. 
and hope and renewal and starting over after this. <laughs> Here's this Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo person. All right. This is the second week. The first week you got to leave somebody. That's what it looks like to me. The first week of July you got to let somebody go. That's what it appears. I could be wrong. Okay. The second week perhaps you're you're thinking about following your own path and moving in another direction, you know, perhaps you're coming up with a plan. All right. To move in another direction, maybe towards a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. And feeling very proud about it, feeling very good about it. This right here, this is a breakthrough, a major breakthrough, a major awakening. All right. I think that almost every reading I've done for somebody today has had this card. So it looks like this is a big energy in um, the beginning of the July. Everybody is opening their eyes. Okay. They're opening their eyes and they're waking up. They're waking up. It's crazy. It really is. And they're acting on their feelings. They're acting on their thoughts. That's amazing. This is the first to the 15th love for cancer. Oh, this is the earth mother. Probably the same person as this one. Um, she's a very motherly type of person. Um, beautiful. Um, she could be part of your waking up. Could be any sign, but it's typically a Taurus. Could be an Aries, but I consider it a Taurus. Um, and feeling very good with this person. Okay, this is tor This is the first week. This is the second week, and this is the follow-on. Okay, so the second week, you know, you're they're, you're having a breakthrough, an awakening, and you act on it. Okay, and you probably act towards this person. This person is beautiful inside and out. Um, very motherly, very feminine, nurturing, caring, loving. Her soul is pure. Okay, that's who this person is. Um, up here, you know, with this shock that's going to come in. It really is a blessing. It's saying to remain steady, remain calm, all right, because when this comes in, it comes and goes pretty quickly. Okay, this guy comes, he makes his mark, uh, slits, your th slits your throat, hopefully you don't die, but, um, and keeps on going, doesn't look back. So, you know, it looks like this dilemma at the beginning of the month that comes in it comes in and it goes out pretty quickly and you remain calm and steady during this period of time all right so this is about preparing and challenges and your seeds being planted and finally coming to fruition finally your ships are coming in and this is a love reading so your ships might be coming in either with an Aquarius or a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo and but this is this is going into the latter part of July that's after this first week when you have to leave something behind you do that's the first week you have to leave something behind. In the second week, you start to make progress. You make progress. This is um, this is you already told. This is steady, practical, um, responsible. You know, this guy has a plan. He's a planner. All right, he's a planner. He and this is the second week. This 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 thing has come in. Whatever you have gotta let somebody go, and then the second week you start to plan your journey, your new journey, your renewal. You know, and you start to have hope again. You start to follow your wishes, your real wishes. Okay, and perhaps your wishes are with this person. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. It can be any sign, but the probability is that it is an earth sign which is Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo but it could be somebody who acts like this woman but this card also usually represents a Taurus so it's a good 
inclination that that is a Taurus, but it could be any sign. Really, it could. <coughs> this is an Aquarius. This is a Pisces. Um, these are the fire signs. It's the same. It's, this is this is the person you gotta let go, man or woman. This doesn't matter about this. This is a man or a woman fire sign, and this is the energy. This is about acting. Okay acting on the breakthrough, acting on the awakening, acting on your thoughts towards this person. <clears throat> and just so you know, you have a three here, a three here, and a three here. Threes, when you say see the number 333, three, three, you should know that it means that your prayers are being answered. The universe, angels, spirits, they hear your prayers and they are working behind the scenes to make them happen okay so if you're praying for something rest assured it, it is gonna happen <clears throat> we're looking for love the first week it looks like you're gonna be getting out of a situation perhaps you want to follow your dreams towards another direction maybe somebody else but the second week I think it's just a plan there's not really action, even though we have this action here. Your action is right here when you get out of this. You know, you get out of this mess and you start to work here. You're back to the second week and you're starting to follow your wishes and make your wishes come true. But you got to come up with a plan first. Might con might concern this person and it makes you feel proud that you might be able to offer love. Okay, it makes you feel good. Um, the thought of all this makes you feel proud. Um, and then you have this breakthrough towards the end of the second week. The third week, <coughs> it looks like there's still something happening that's quite arrogant. Okay, this guy is arrogant. He is, um, selfish. Um, it's an air sign. Okay. And they're connected to this walking away and they're connected to this, um, your wishes being fulfilled. Perhaps they're blocking you in some way. It's like they want to cut you down. They want to cut you down for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they're jealous of you or they don't want to see you succeed. Either way, you've planted the seeds a long time ago. The seeds were planted years ago for this to fall into place, okay? Something has been going on behind the scenes for quite some time, like with these threes. All right, three, three, three. The universe is has your back and they're working in the angels and God. Your prayers have been answered, or they are gonna be answered. And it's being worked on behind the scenes right now as we speak. And it probably has something to do with this person. What do you have for love right here with these cards? What can you do? Can you give us some clarification? Somebody's arrogant. This is arrogant. Doesn't want your wishes to be fulfilled. Who the hell doesn't want your wishes to be fulfilled? Somebody doesn't. That's pretty selfish. This person's selfish anyway. So that makes sense. This is an air sign. Libra, uh, Libra Gemini, or Aquarius. Perhaps that's who you're walking away from, walking away from, or it's a fire sign. Could, who knows? Hmm. <clears throat> focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, ambitious 
charismatic, all right? This is the same as this one. Be I, well, because it's here twice, now I think this might be an energy that you need to take on to get through this. Focus, 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 plan. Absolutely, plan your next steps carefully, which I think you already do. I think you're very worried about this person underneath. You are. And I don't think it's in a bad way. I think you're worried about... Or you've been thinking about... I don't know, I, maybe worried isn't the right word. You've really been thinking a lot about this person. Maybe you're ex expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Sleepless, sleepless nights. What are you expecting the worst for? This, wo this woman or man provides stability and security and abundance and nurturing and back rubs, you know, and food and a clean house, okay? This woman provides everything, everything, including in the bedroom, this man or woman. So why do you ex what do you why do you expect the worst? Do you think that you're gonna get rejected? Cancer? Or do you expect or do you um or do you think that it's not gonna work out in the end? Do you think they're gonna do something to hurt you? Perhaps there's been some, uh, you know, there's, this is somebody you know, and there's there's been a split in the past from them, and it hurt. Speak your mind with confidence, okay? Balance mental and emotional consideration. Speak your mind towards this beautiful soul. Okay, do it. Speak your mind. That's what this advice says. This is this this is the first through the second week of July. July 1st through the 15th for cancer. This is a love reading. Do you need to speak your mind to somebody? Just tell the truth. That's all that you need to do. Be completely honest and everything will work out. Don't be afraid. Do not expect the worst, whatever you do. This is universally driven. This is universally guided. When this card comes out, this is the universe who offers a um, disaster. It's a, he, a, they actually offer a blessing disguised as a disaster it really turns out to be a blessing and that's right in the beginning right in the beginning of July and it leads to a breakup it leads to a split these are the two biggest breakup cards in the deck right together And this is a cheating card. Not always. I mean, but in many cases. And this is a sex card. And this is a wake-up call. Be something becoming known. Something going on behind the scenes, perhaps. I mean, you figure it out. I could just be Vanna. Vanna hands. <laughs> you get all that? I do tend to have a sense of humor. This woman, she doesn't like to argue about anything. She'd rather not. man or woman because this reading is for a general audience 
whoever is meant to see it. Ooh, I just happened to move that out of the way and this car is gonna go right there. Maybe I should just leave it there. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Do you believe it? Do you? I think you do. Ooh, this is another good one. <laughs> Expecting the worst. Do not. This card goes right over this one. This is expecting the worst. Sleepless nights. Okay? Probably with this person. You expect the worst. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. This is tell saying to live in the now. You are... <laughs> Der, der, der. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Live in the now. Okay, remember earlier I said something. Maybe there was a relationship in the past. And that's why you're expecting the worst. Mm -mm. Let that go. That's old. That's old. People change. Live in the now. <laughs> Can you hear the fireworks outside? Perfect time to do your reading. I did not plan it that way. Because it's there's fireworks. Big ones. Attraction. This could be the one. Stay optimistic about your love, love life. For some reason I can't talk. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is for you, Cancer. Stay optimistic. Do not expect the worst. We're going to get one more of these. This is it. And there's a big firework. That made sense, didn't it? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I think this is somebody from your past. Listen to those fireworks. What a time! And that is what I have for you, Cancer. I'm going to let you go. Listen to them. Big fireworks for you. Talk to you soon.